Hi, welcome back to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to do a very quick video on how to mine Grossel coin. So somebody sent me a message uh, via YouTube a couple of days ago saying they'd heard about Grossel coin, it'd been making very big gains and what was the easiest way to mine it. So today I'm just going to talk you through step by step how you can start mining Grossel coin either with your CPU or with a GPU. So um, for those of you who have never heard of Grossel coin, um, and it's not one, it's one that I had heard of a bit ago, but it just sort of in passing, nobody had really kind of mentioned it. But um, the the interest I think really stems from the fact that if we look at uh, coin market cap here, you can see um, it's been around since 2014, but just in the last sort of month or two, um, we've seen some really big kind of spikes in in price for Grossel coin. Um, so that's really what's kind of, um, I presume, um, piqued people's interests um, and that's why they are interested in mining it. But um, if you want to find out a little bit more um, about the coin, it's their website is grosselcoin.org and um, you can read all about the, um, uh, the coin there, what they're doing. Um, you can download the wallets and paper wallets and you can buy them, find information about exchanges and stuff. But um, that's um, just a very quick overview of Grossel coin. Let's jump um, over uh, quickly and I will explain how you start mining this coin. So um, I'm just going to jump over onto my desktop machine here. Uh, right, so we're on the desktop machine now. So the first thing you need to do is download a wallet. So if you go to the Grossel coin uh, website, just click on downloads and you can see there's wallets for lots of different operating systems and there's different um, types. I just uh, grabbed the core wallet here, which is Grosscoin Core. So I downloaded um, that and I've just set it running. So you can see that here. It still hasn't um, caught up, so it hasn't synced the entire blockchain. Um, it's only been running for about half an hour. Um, it will probably take another maybe an hour or two um, to sync. But what you don't need to do is wait for it to completely finish. If you actually just um, open up um, a wallet, any kind of cool wallet like this, and just click hide. Then if you go to receive, and you can see here I put in supernova, so this is the pool I'll be using. So just type that into the, the label there, and you can get an address. So if you double click that, you can see this is the address I'm gonna be using, and you will need an address for your um, mining. So um, go ahead, um, grab the wallet, set that downloading, as always with any kind of wallet, um, first thing you should do is encrypt it. So I, you can see I've encrypted it here and also take a backup of the uh, wallet.dat file. So um, do that, um, grab a receive address. What I tend to do whenever I'm um, setting up to start mining a new coin, I will just put a quick um, text file on the desktop where I have all the kind of like the pertinent information um, to hand so it makes it just easier as we're going through and setting stuff up so as you can see I grabbed the address from the wallet there and I've just put that in there so um, we don't need the wallet now you can just leave that running in the background uh, syncing so the next thing we need to do is sign up to a pool so um, a mining pool now I'm just going to jump back over onto my um, day-to-day -day machine here. So um, we're going to use today is uh, grs.supernova.cc. Now Supernova is a, a great pool. They have pools for almost all coins. Um, and whenever you're, whenever I'm kind of jumping onto a new coin or I'm looking to have a, you know, a, a go at things, then I often use Supernova as my initial kind of pool because as I said, they do support so many kind of different coins. Um, and it works pretty well. They're reliable. They pay out on time. So the first thing you need to do is just jump over to uh, grs.supernova.cc, um, sign up with an account. And then once you've signed up an account, just go to the My Account um, details and My Workers. And what you're um, going to do is just set up um, a worker that we're going to put into the mining software. So you can see I've set up two here, one's called worker one and one's called worker two, and I've just put X as a, a password because it's easy to remember. Um, so let's jump back over onto the desktop and I will show you how to start mining. So um, you'll need to take a note of this. So you'll have a uh, username for the, the pool and then it's normally username dot worker whatever the worker name is, and just make a note also of your worker password. So let's jump back over to the desktop machine. So there's um, two pieces of software, and I will link um, both of those in the description below that you can download to start mining. So um, there is a CPU miner, and then there's also, this is the AMD GPU miner. There's also an NVIDIA um, GPU miner. I don't have an NVIDIA card in this machine, so there's no point me downloading that, but um, there is an NVIDIA one available. But um, 
we're going to just um, set up the CPU miner and also the GPU miner and then we'll give those a go check they're all working properly and um, that will be us done for today so um, basically um, what I do I use 7-zip often which is a freely available and free to download um, piece of software and it just allows you to unzip and untar um, files that you download off the internet so what I've done is literally just um, unzip those or untar those and put them on the desktop here so you can download that once you're in the downloads just unzip them into your desktop and then and again I will put these um, these commands here so these are basically just basic commands to run um, each of the miners so um, I will um, copy these in the description below as well so you can literally copy and paste these uh, directly into your miner just make sure that you change you can see here we've got a, a minus u and that's your username and you can see there crypto dave uk dot worker one which was what we set up at supernova um, and then minus p is password and the password is just x and then in the gpu the the syntax is slightly different but again we've got the same bit at the end here so minus u that's a username and in this case i've used the worker2 uh, username and minus p is, is x again so the reason i did that is that we can run both of these and we can see worker1 is the cpu miner and worker2 is the gpu miner and then we can t keep a track of them separately so we know they're both working but once you've um, unzipped uh, both these programs, basically uh, the CPU miner is probably the easiest one and there will be these files within it, minerd.exe. Now this is the file that actually does the mining and then there's a few DLL files and a BAT file. Now if you open the uh, BAT file, just edit that and copy this line in. Again, I'll put these below, so just copy that um, line in. Make sure you update your worker. So this is all preset for Supernova, the Supernova pool. If you're using a different pool, you can just literally update this URL here. Um, but that's all you need to do. It already comes with a bat file. Just overwrite um, what's in there with, with this line here. And then literally, if you double click that, that should start running. So you can see the windows opened up. This is the Grosselcoin CPU miner and it's going through the thread so this is a 12 um, core cpu here this is a ryzen cpu and we can see now it started accepting um, hashes here so that's all running away and nicely so that seems to be working fine and then if we minimize that we can leave that running in the background and the sg miner so this is slightly different there's a few more files in it again sgminer.exe that's the actual mining software but it doesn't have a bat file um, by default so i just set one up called start.bat and the easiest way to do that on windows is just to um, go to new and you can go text document and then say we'll call this start to dot bat and it says it's literally as simple as that and then you edit that file and you can copy in this case this line which is the SG minor uh, bat file configuration and we copy that in you can copy it as it is in here but again make sure you remember to update your uh, worker uh, username and password if you've set a password um, because otherwise you'll be uh, mining on my account and um, although that would be much appreciated um, obviously you want to take advantage of your own uh, mining effort so let's just delete that uh, start to but we can see here this was a start bat I set up earlier you can see it's just got that uh, line in it and once again you start mining just by double clicking that uh, file uh, and we can see so a windows opened and it started using the SG miner and then if you leave it for a few seconds you can see this pop up it gives you some information here about your GPU so it's the temperature um, fan speed and then you'll see here um, your mining speed so it's just creeping up at the moment um, and after a few seconds it will start uh, receiving jobs and hopefully completing those so you see there one was rejected job not found but then it's accepting um, um, it's accepting um, solutions from our, our kind of mining so everything's kind of working now you'll see as time goes on the temperature of the GPU will kind of rise up and this should um, this should reach a kind of an equilibrium so for this just on our default uh, values it's around 19 uh, mega hashes a second so it literally is as simple as that um, to start mining um, 
cancel that, I don't want to delete that. Now the one thing that a few people have asked me about, and this is something if you're on Windows 10, um, that often mining software is um, falsely identified as a virus by Windows Defender. Um, and what you might find is that you've unzipped your, um, um, your GPU miner, CPU miner, um, to your desktop when you run it suddenly Windows Defender pops up and it says it, it's found the threat and removed it and what it tends to do is just delete that file so if you find that the minor D uh, file is being deleted um, there's an easy way of getting around that actually so um, if you go to your Windows Defender and just open that up and then in the corner here there's a settings button so if we click that and then we click on virus and threat protection settings and then if you scroll down there's a section here called exclusions so you can add or remove exclusions here so if we click that and you can see here I've just added exclusions for those two miners so if you click on the plus you can either add a particular file or I find it's often easier to use folder if you try and add the actual file for the miner sometimes it comes up and says it won't allow you to add it because it thinks it's a virus but if you just add a folder and then you we just go to the desktop here um, we can see that here's a Zcash miner so we can select that folder and then it will whitelist that and we just click yes so we can see we've whitelisted that and then it will not see the um, the miner um, executable inside that as a virus and won't delete it but um, that's something that a few people have seen so they've started running it Windows Defender's deleted it and then they're, they're trying to run the bat file and it's actually deleted the actual miner behind that but um, if we jump very quickly back over to uh, my just day-to-day -day machine here and we have a look at the dashboard we should be able to see um, some stats now showing up so we've got my hash rates we've got 18 mega hashes a second um, there within the statistics um, if we have a look at the pool statistics you can see all the different information about the different blocks the round um, uptime uh, graphs so there's various information and statistics here but um, you can if we look at this so you can see this is your hash rate and um, the average hash rate and you can have a look at your workers and check that everything's um, as it should be but if you go back to account and go to the my workers we should now see that um, they're both showing up with um, some killer hashes a second so they're both working now the difficulty will adjust automatically depending on the speed of your um, CPU or GPU but we can see that both of those are running and again back on the dashboard we can see that there's a hash rate in my hash rate now um, now in order to get paid out you have to go to the earnings tab and uh, where is it um, sorry edit account tab rather and then here you can put in your um, uh, payment address and any donation you can set your automatic payment threshold and that payment address here is just the um, address that we found um, from our wallet here so that's just the address that we picked up here so you put that address in to the pool and you can set you know the amount that you want to get paid out you can either do it manually or set it um, in an automated manner but um anyway that's a very quick way to get mining i hope that's been uh, useful if there's anything that doesn't make sense um send me a comment below but i will put all the the information so the command lines for the for the bat files and the links to download the mining software in the description below anyway um that's all for today have a great day and hopefully i will see you on the next video thanks very much Bye bye